hello and welcome. Uh, TFL here with a casted game uh, kindly provided by uh, the great uh, Revnak. Um, and Revnak is going to be playing India against uh, John Trapper Tice, who we're just going to call John's uh, Russia. Uh, I don't know anything else about this, so let's see what happens. So it looks like the map is Pripet Marshes. It's the um, uh, European map. It kind of reminds me a bit of Bayo um, with all these marshes in the middle stopping you building anything. Although if you clear out the trees, you can probably fit some stuff in those gaps between the marshes. Um, both players have a trade route down their end of the map with uh, two TPs on it. Like there was a little pause there in the recording. And um, yeah, so we've got John playing India. Uh, it looks like the deck selection has gone in straight away. It's just called Land. And we're seeing uh, all the uh, classic Russia Age 2 things. We've got the four Cossack, the five Cossack, the 13 Streletsy and boyers and a whole bunch of resource crates uh nothing too remarkable about that uh revnak uh yet to choose the deck um we can see uh, just... uh sorry just had to fiddle with my graphics settings there um so revnak uh yet to choose his deck is currently 10 10 um is he going to build a house, or is this it? Um, we'll stay with him for a second and see. He's got 90 wood, but he's not gathering anymore, so I think this is a 10-10 age up from India. Uh, deck still not in. First shipment still not in. The uh, explorers, let's see, just going around the edges here, identifying and converting these uh, royal houses. Oh, now going for a coin treasure still 10 10 um now starts chopping wood and has put down that house um but uh yeah gonna be going up just with 10 villagers and the carny martyr um to boost his economy um taking another treasure here uh, xp treasure uh, that's not going to be any difficulty for those Indian explorers. Um, if we go back over to John doing something that looks pretty standard, there's 20 wood left on the floor for some reason, but um, yeah, he's just exploring his little area, going up to 14 vills. Looks like he's going to be aging with 14 vills. Uh, we'll just stay with him and see what happens there. Um, coming up on the 800 mark now. Yep, and that is straight in with the Quartermaster for 400 wood. So fairly standard stuff from Russia. Um, we'll hop back on board with Revnak. Uh, up to uh, 12 villagers now, 13 villagers uh, all on wood. That's not incredibly surprising, of course, with India. Um, hasn't got enough of this villager, is going to be waiting a while to, with an idle TC to get that sorted. Um, one villager on the Carni Martyr, I think, and that's going up um, at a reasonable rate. Has also spent some of his wood on that TP, that's probably what cost him that idle TC time. Um, and he's getting another house, so he's going to have 30 population in a second. Um, hasn't got a shipment ready as he... Uh, arrives in age two, is going to get a selection of resources. Is that 500 in total, I think? Um, two, two, and one. And uh, is now building a caravansary, the Indian stable. So he's going to be able to train some cav. Unsurprisingly, we see Russia building the forward blockhouse, and it is well past the middle of the map. That is going to be right on the um, right on the boundary of how close they're allowed to go with that to the opponent TC. They are not quite aged yet, but presumably they uh, have got their timings down and are so 
yep, aging upright as the blockhouse finishes, and the first shipment is the five Cossacks. So, absolutely classic Russia moves there. Um, as we hop back on board with Revenax India, we've got uh, three sewers coming in. Those are sort of the basic hand cavalry um, hussar type unit. It's going to be four trained from the caravansary. And we've got a wall coming out in the front of the base that's going to protect these, probably protect both of these mines, protect uh, this first or second hunt that Revnax brought into the base. Um, potentially, with the benefit of units, could secure this third hunt at the back here. But the Cossacks are out and they're going to be probing these defences uh, as much as they possibly can. So Rev Revnak also puts down the consular and uh, is sending diplomatic intrigue. So he's obviously got plans for this con uh, consulate. Um, Revnak has four sewers out. Were those the original four? No, he's got eight sewers out. Four that he sent out to attack and four more arrived as the Cossacks came into the base. There's also a handful of Streletsi. Don't know how you end up with four Streletsi. Um but they're here too um, and Russia going to be taking this fight not sure it's a great one for them to take uh, the Cossacks are very cheap but you haven't got anything else on the map right now so not sure you want to be losing them um, Revnak is allying with the Ottoman allies at the consulate be interesting to see what happens there um, Revnak has got 21 villagers 22 now pretty much uninterrupted Eco growth from Revnak. Russia sitting on 18 villages, um, which suggests they probably didn't have non stop production uh, during the early stages of age two. Uh, I apologize for not checking that. Um, Russia sending the Otto Expeditionary Company. That's going to give three uh, Rumelots. They were described as delis in the tech description. These look like. Slightly improved delis, if you ask me. Um, they are going to do very nice, and it's kind of an all cav war here. There's more Cossacks from Russia, some Musketeers, but not enough to really make an impact. Um, and more Rusketeers, Musketeers coming up. They have got 3x versus cavalry on the hand attack, but they're not very strong units overall. And now India is pushing out. They've got these uh, six. Husser type units, the sewers, um, with their um, effectively a bonus against light infantry when those two cancel out, and the Rumelots, the Delis, um, with their fast attack, loads of HP, and they're coming down now to the Russian base, and they're going to be seeing what problems they can cause down here. Russia has five musketeers, certainly not happy time for Russia to. Um, be defending their own base so early in the game there's uh three more sewers my goodness that's a lot of sewers um coming down from india and india is, seems to basically just be going all out for sewers i haven't um haven't checked they've just sent the resources the distributism and the export for the um for the ottoman cavalry it's really all cavalry I mean, India taking, I think, gratuitous advantage of the fact that Russia doesn't have an amazing anti-cav unit in age two. Um, more and more of these musketeers being trained, but they're not going to be amazing. And that's that's it. O over as quickly as that, the GG thrown in by John. Um, it's kind of understandable seeing all these cavalry sitting on top of your villagers and you've got your your musketeers but so many of them died so quickly and yeah really just a case i think of um uh, a rush being beaten by a rush with uh the right counter units better probably overall units um i don't think anyone really took any villagers uh oh it looks like um, looks like Revnat snuck two off uh, John Trapper there. I don't remember when that was. Um, 
Otherwise, the curve's pretty much as you would expect. Revnak benefiting, obviously, from the extra villagers from the Indian home city. Um, benefiting, of course, as well from the two wood trickle cards really boosting the economy. So ended up with a fair bit more resources. Um, and, yeah, just really sort of um, making Russia look a bit useless there with those... Um, with those fast uh, units out to counter Russia. And I think, you know, uh, those uh, Delis and so as basically Hussars, um, they never they never killed a, a skirmisher. They were only ever killing um, the Musketeers and the Cossacks, but um, they were cost-effective enough to get the job done and to get the job done really well. So um, that is a great work. Uh, great day's work from Revnak and uh, good game to India.